Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. So today we are gonna be filming a full on nighttime glam. So we are gonna start off with the Vitamin Enrich Face Base by Bobbi Brown. This is one of my favorite like cream face primers. I don't know, it just makes my foundation go on so flawless. Just lays my foundation really nicely. So for foundation, we are gonna be using the Dose of Colors Meet Your Hue foundation in the shade Dark 133. I've been using this, I wanna say for about a week now, and I can say that I like the foundation. It kind of reminds me of my Too Faced Born This Way foundation, so if you like that foundation, then you will like this one. I know at first glance it kind of looks like it's a little bit too light for my complexion but once it settles down and I've blended it all in it actually is my shade it matches my chest perfectly and you'll see that at the end of this video once everything is like on I forgot to mention I'm using a Morphe M439 brush so for concealer we are going to be using my Fenty my Fenty Pro concealer this is in the shade 430 Someone asked me in my previous video what the shade was. I'm always 430 and Fenty. That's concealer and foundation. I'm going to be blending it out with my Morphe E20 brush. You guys know this is like my favorite brush. I just actually bought a brand new one. It just makes blending out my concealer. You see how it's just like pushing it right into my skin and everything is blending out so nicely. You need to get one of these brushes. It is amazing for blending out contour or concealer, honestly. So now we are going to be contouring with our Black Radiance Color Perfect Foundation Stick. This is in the shade Espresso. I switched between this one and my MAC one that I was using in my previous videos, but I really just love this cream. Like, it's the perfect shade. It just blends out so nicely. It kind of gives me like a bronzing effect. So then I really don't need a bronze when I use this one because you see how red and rich this is. So I just, this is just like perfect for when I, when I want to look snatched and I'm going out, this is what I use. And I'm going to be taking a smaller brush. This is a Morphe M434 brush. I always use this to just like contour and snatch my nose. It's a kind of like skinny flat brush in a sense, so it kind of just makes blending out or buffing out any contour on my nose really easy. So for powder, I right now I've been going for a lighter look, so we're going to use the Makeup Revolution setting powder. This is in the color Terracotta, and I'm going to use this only under my eyes and above my my lip area because I want that brighter effect on my face and for the rest of my face I'm going to be using my Huda Beauty baking powder in the color Cinnabon. This one is still kind of a light but this one kind of melts down into a darker setting powder so that's why I like to use it on the outer parts because I don't want my whole entire face to be light and bright. I just you know I want to set everything nicely and just lighten underneath my eyes to give me a more brighter effect but i only do this sometimes if not then i'll just go all over my face with my huda beauty baking powder and not the other one and we are just going to be dusting that off i don't really let it sit or bake either i just put it on finish putting it on and then i wipe it off i don't really bake i don't do all of that stuff so now we're going to use my favorite morphe continuous setting mist and i really just like to drench my face in this and i know like i feel like this is just what brings everything together and i it just makes my skin go right back to being skin like and not be like so you know like powdery all after all the powder and i'm just going to fan my face off i have been obsessed with this Too faced born this way powder foundation um i posted a mini tutorial about it on my ig but like it is really really bomb it's a foundation but i use it as a finishing powder because it just you see how like flawless my skin looks like it, my skin already looked nice but this is just like that finishing touch that just brings my skin like all together so now i'm going to be using my showman's bronzer by morphe this is my favorite contour and you kind of see how i don't really need to bronze or anything so i'm not going to be using my bronzer i'm just going to strictly contour because i don't need to bring any more warmth to my face i just need to bring out the shadows to you know so i can look snatched 
And then again, I'm going to be taking that same Morphe brush, the small one that I use to blend out the contour, to just contour my nose and kind of define it after I've placed all that powder on top of that contour. So now, I'm moving on to the eyes. I thought I might as well go ahead and use my Jackie Aina palette one more time. So we're going to be using the Jackie Aina palette. So we're going to be going into the shade Ginger. This is just really a light transition shade because we are going to be doing a pink look as you guys saw in the beginning of the video. Um, I just wanted to do like a pink, pink glam. So I'm using this ginger shade to just kind of build up on the color before we place the pink color on top of that. We're going to go into Supreme next. You guys know, like, I have to do a pink look. Even though the last one was like purple, I need to do a pink look. So we're about to whip out the pink with this Supreme color. And I am going to be using a Morphe and Jaclyn JH32 brush so for this look we're actually going to bring out the eyeshadow we're kind of like blowing it out to the corners of our eyes instead of rounding it off like we usually do we are kind of going to blow it outwards towards kind of like the end of our eyebrow and now we're going to go in with the color credit and we are going to focus that on the corners of our eyes just to add some depth to this look kind of make it a little grungy I feel like I really like grungy looks where they're messy, but then they're still like really, really cute. Now we are going to go into a Zam. So I'm using my Morphe 224 brush. I sprayed it with the Morphe setting spray and I'm just applying it all over my eyes. It's nothing like, you know, I'm not doing like a cut crease or anything. I'm kind of just placing it just to make it like glittery and sparkly, you know? not like perfecting it or anything i'm just placing it on there i would actually do this with my finger but y'all see i got my nails fixed <laughs> so your girl can't do that so for liner today i just got sent the new huda beauty eyeliner so we're going to be using that today it's double sided so it has the liquid side and then on the other side it is a little like pencil you can twist it up so i'm gonna be using the liquid side and I'm just going to be doing a simple wing, I guess cat eyeliner, wing, cat, cat wing, what are they called? That's what I'm doing. I'm going to do like a little cat wing. Something simple, not doing anything like dramatic because I told you guys I really don't like liner. So for mascara, we're going to be using the Balm Cosmetic Mad Lash Mascara. And then for lashes, we are going to be using the Lily Lashes in the style Miami as well. But before we get into lashes, I'm going to be taking the Morphe Coconut Eyeliner Pencil and running that on my bottom lash line just to make my eyes look more wider and open and kind of give that baby doll effect. And then I'm going to use that same mascara on my bottom lashes. And I really like for my bottom lashes to be dramatic, so I like to run my mascara kind of just like all over every lash and make it a little thick on the bottom. So for highlighter today, we're going to be using the Fenty Beauty Wada Brat Kilowatt Highlighter. This is my favorite highlighter, you guys. Look how pretty and pink this is. Look at that. That is so cute. I love it, especially when I'm doing like an all pink look. It just... It's really, really pretty. And in person, you just, I have these little like glitter speckles all over my face. It's just so, so cute. You see that? Ooh. For a blush, I'm gonna be using the Amorphe Blush Palette. This is the 8C Cool Pro Blush Palette, and I'm using the color Queen. I've been really into blush lately, you guys. I don't know why. And then I'm going back in with um, that highlighter. And we are just lightly taking that on our cupid's bow and then on the tip of our nose and on the upper bridge of our nose. I don't like to take it all the way down anymore because I feel like, I don't know, sometimes it can just look a little harsh. And then I also put it on the corners of my eyes, but then I figured I put a little bit too much. So I'm just going to take a brush that doesn't have anything and just like blend it out better. And then for lips today, we're going to be using a Morphe lip liner in the color Trendsetter. This is my favorite lip liner. Anything dark brown is obviously going to be my favorite, but this one especially is my favorite lip liner. And then for lips, this is the Love Me Lipstick by MAC. This is in the color Pure Nonchalance for 12 and it is this pretty like mauve pink. I'm obsessed with it. It's probably one of my new favorite lipsticks. 
And here is the finished look. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Love you guys. And I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to subscribe.